Hey class, good evening everyone. How are you all doing today, bacho? I hope all of you are doing awesome. So we are back again with one more class on classification on uh, classification and uh, and analogy. And this is a very easy class. I would like to tell you all. So we'll be finishing this quite quickly because this topic is quite easy. So many of it you have already done it in the part of pattern where we have to identify some pattern and all. So this part is very easy. So I think that all of you love this topic. So these are the kind of topic which are quite easy. So let's move ahead. But before moving ahead, let me tell you about the previous year, previous class homework question. So the previous class I gave you this question as your homework. Now, if you will notice here very carefully, you'll see that sir, what is happening? Earlier it had five lines, then four lines, and then three lines. And the dot, the dot is moving. The dot is moving clockwise. Here also four, three, two, and the dot is moving clockwise from here to here to here. So clockwise movement is going on. Now three, two, and one. So the, the last part should have only one line. Okay, so I can say sir option B is wrong. Okay, now it has to move clockwise. So if first here, second point here, then third point should be somewhere here only, right? So I can see the only correct part is what option A. So option A will be the correct answer. Okay, so I have got correct answer again from many of you. So let me tell you the name: Soumya, Satvik, Anushka, Umesh, WhatsApp, Stats, and Parth, Aditi. Fill the subjects: Adar, Satvinder, Pratyash, Pratyaksh, Aparna, Deepak, Vedant, Rudransh, Raj, uh, Ribhav, Ghanshyam, Sakshi, Pankaj, Harsh, Madhuri, Tanisha, Ayushi, Varalakshmi, Teja, Mohammad, Navid. Ayush, Abhishek, Lakshay, Pranali, Vijay, Amulya, and Arpit. After that, Sangeeta, yo, it's your homie. And uh, Ritvik Patel Singh, Pramod Joshi, Oman Sharora, Ayushi Pal, uh, Bashishta Sahu, Mayur Tiwari, guitarist also this there, guitarist 365, Ritvik Patel Singh, Unicom Computer, Ahana De, Surendra Pal, Shanti Kumari, Deep Vijay, Lokesh, Oh, five minutes ago. What was the name? Yeah, name is not there. I don't know. Siddharth, Anita, M G Mahantesh, Kishore, Prashant, Dheeraj, Rajshekhar, Rishi, Mas Mayank. So one is awesome, awesome Rishi. One is fabulous Mayank. Uh, Akshara, Ra Satya, Rajput Satya, Adarsh, Pushpa, Siddhu S G, Fanindra, Technical Gamer, Jagannath Patidar, Mayank, Muskan, Sunita. And uh, Rishab and Deepanchu. So these many students has given correct answers. I'm really happy about it that so many of you are learning so much and keep preparing this way, bacho. You'll reach your goal. So let's move ahead with today's class, which is classification and analogy. Next week I'll be starting with percentage, profit, loss, and discount, and allegation and mixtures and simple or compound interest. Okay. So these will be your topic. Now first thing is classification. Then we'll be talking about analogy as well. And my NTSC previous year question will be solving. So these are quite easy topics. Okay, very easy topic. So first question, if you will see, flower is to a bouquet as minister is to. So from you know that when you take a group of flowers, then you will form a bouquet. So many flowers form a bouquet. So many ministers, what they will form? They will form a voter. No, they will form a constituency department. No, they will form a cabinet. Cabinet, right? Cabinet ministry. So when many ministers are grouped, they will form a cabinet okay <coughs> next question l x n u n y p v the whatever is the relation same relation what what does this sign means this is not the mathematical proportionality sign we are using here this sign tells that whatever is the relation between this first two same should be the relation between the last two okay so based on this logic bacho if i see here from l to n you can say it is L, so then M and N, it is plus 2. From X to Y, it is plus 1. From N to P, N, O, P, plus 2. And from U to V, it is plus 1. So plus 2, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1. So similarly, from Q, if you do plus 2, what you will be getting? So Q, R, S. Then from T, plus 1. So T U, then from B plus 2, if I do plus 2 from B, C D, and from R plus 1, so R S. So S U D S, where is this? 
SUDS, SUDS option C. So option C is the correct answer. Understood? So this way, as you can see, Bacho, the topic is quite easy. Quite easy, right? Chalo, let's move to the next part. 225, 257. So what should be 289? How 289 should be related to this? So first thing, if you will observe here, Bacho, that 225 and 289 both are perfect squares, right? 225 is 15 square and 289 is 17 square. Now try to identify 257. Any nearby, you know, 16 square is 257. Sorry, 256. 16 square is 256. So I can say, sir, this is nothing but 15 plus 1 whole square plus 1. 16 square plus 1. So similarly, if I put the value here, so 17 plus 1 whole square plus 1. 17 plus 1 is 18 square plus 1. 18 square is 324 plus 1, which is what? 325. Do we have 325? Yes, sir, option D. Okay, so this is how you have to try to identify the number as well. This is not the proportionality ki this upon this is equal to this upon this. No, no, no. When the classification, when this analogy is used, they will say that whatever is the relation between the first two, same should be the relation between the other two. So the relation here was whatever is the first number, then suppose first number is x, uh, first number is x square, second number will be x plus 1 whole square plus 1. So this was the relation here. Okay, so from here we have got that's our, our correct answer is option D, x square and x plus 1 whole square plus 1 is the relation there. Let's move ahead now. In this given set, they are saying choose one number which is similar to the number in the given set. So you have to choose one number which should be similar. <coughs> first thing I always go, now remember first thing, so a few things I would like to all of you to remember. In these kind of questions, the analogy always goes with some point. Okay, you will always say some preference should be given. Okay, first preference you'll be giving to the square, cubes or multiple of some series. So those higher order pattern, that means where you are getting some squares, where you are getting some cubes, those kind of questions, they are related. Let us say I can say this is 14 square minus 2 square. This can be something else. Uh, this can be say 217 square minus seven, something like that. Okay. So if that kind of relation or cube, that kind of relation can be done, go for that part. Then the next part will be, you will go for the relation where they all are, let us say, multiple of something. Okay, multi divisibility rules. Then the second order we go for divisibility rules. And then when even they are also not working, when none of them is working, then at the end you will go for odd or even. Odd or even generally very less it is used. Okay, so when all the pattern, first square cubes or any multiple, then divisibility, if none of them are working, then you will go for uh, odd or even. So let us figure it out here. First thing I can see, it is 14 square, near to 14 square. It is 14 square minus 4. It is 17 square minus 7. So it doesn't, so 14 square minus 4. Okay, 17 square minus 7. <coughs> so 372, nearest, what is that, 20 square. So 20 square minus 20 is 380. So that square logic, it is not following. Okay, so nothing square nor cube logic is following. Then I will go for the divisibility part. So as you can see, bacho, divisibility, if you will check, 9 plus 2 plus 1, sum is 12. 8 plus 2 plus 2, sum is 12. 3 plus 7 plus 2, sum is 12. So when I was checking divisibility by 3, I got to know that, sir, sum of the digits in all the numbers is 12 only. So that is not a coincidence. So let us see. So here, if you will see that only in the option A, sum of digits is 12, rest all the sum of digits is not 12. Here it is 11, here also it is 11, here also it is 11. So option A will be the correct answer. So this is how you have to prioritize it. Okay, now let's go for the next question. Jupiter, Moon, Venus, Mars and Earth. Which one is different? We know very clearly Jupiter, Venus, Mars and Earth, all of them are planet, but Moon is a satellite. So Moon is an odd one, right? Let's move to the next question. Silk, fur, milk, leather, rubber. Which one is the different one? Which one is the odd one? Which one is the odd one? So, which one? As you know, bacho, fur, milk, leather, rubber, they all are the produce which we get from fur can be there. Fur can we get from animal. Milk we get from animal. Leather we are getting from animals. But uh, rubber we are not getting from animals. Rubber and silk we are getting from trees, right? Uh, 
ओके सो हियर आई कैन से सर मिल्क इज एन एडिबल प्रोडक्ट रेड सिल्क फॉर लेदर एंड रबर नन ऑफ देम इज एडिबल राइट सो आई कैन से सर मिल्क इज द ऑर्ड वन आउट सो ओके सिल्क इज फ्रॉम द सिल्क सॉरी 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 I was wrong, bacho. Actually, silk we'll get from silk worm, right? So silk from worm, animals, 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 animals. Only rubber is a tree product, right? Right. So I was wrong at this point. Silk we get from silk, silk worm. If you remember, silk we produce from a silk worm. So all are the products from the animal except rubber. Rubber we are getting from the uh, tree, rubber tree, right? So now let's move to the next question. Twenty-one to twenty-four, twenty-eight to thirty-two, fourteen to sixteen, seventy to eighty, fifty-four to sixty-two. Now it is clearly visible. 7 by 8. The ratio is what 7 to 8. 7 is to 8. See, 4 sevens are 4 eights. Ah, 2 sevens are 2 two eights. Ah, so 10 sevens are 10 eights. Ah, but here it is not 7 is to 8. So I will say option E is the odd one out. Option E is the odd one out. Right? Chalo, let's move to the next question. The next question is here you have to choose which one does not belong to this group. Which one does not belong to this group? So in this question, bacho. <coughs> you will see the ratio is not proper anywhere ratio is not proper now what i will try to see here that look at these values carefully 22 and 0 24 and 12 and then 23 and 5 18 and 63 so i know the ratio something like that is not working something related like out of the box you have to think so you know that sir 2 minus 2 will be 0 Right and four minus two will be two, so that is not working. Now let us subtract their squares. Two square minus two square will be zero. Four square minus two square. Four square is sixteen minus two square four. Sixteen minus four is twelve. So I can say, sir, here what is happening? Four square minus two square. What are you getting? Twelve. So that is the next digit. Let us see whether this is working here. Three square nine minus four, which is equal to five. Yes, sir. Let us see here. 8 square minus 1 square, so 64 minus 1 is equal to 63. Yes, sir. But here 4 square minus 2 square, you will do. You should get 12, not 18. So I can say option E is a different one. Option E is the odd one. Okay, so option E will be the odd one because what is happening? That we are getting the second number is the difference of the square of the other two. So this is an out of box question. So try to think about it. If you are not able to get the pattern in, let us say, one minute or thirty seconds for thirty to forty-five seconds, move ahead, solve it at the other uh, after the uh, once you have done the whole paper. Okay, chalo, let's move ahead. Now choose the figure which is different from the rest. So in this part, if you have to choose that which figure is different from the rest, as you see, bacho, there are figures which are like uh, inscribed inside the each other, inscribed in each other. So the the largest, I don't know whether it is clear to you all. This part is a hexagon. After that, you are getting a square, and then you are getting a pentagon. Okay, so hexagon six sides, four sides, five sides. <coughs> Here, triangle, a parallelogram, and a pentagon. So three, four, five, increasing order. Here, a pentagon, a square, and a triangle. So four, five, three, decreasing order. Okay, square, pentagon, hexagon, increasing order. Okay. Hexagon, pentagon, square. So again, decreasing order. So either two, three, four, or five, they are all decreasing or increasing. But only one is there, which is like what? Six, four, five. Neither increasing nor decreasing. So I will say, sir, option one is the correct answer because second, third, fourth, and fifth all are either increasing or decreasing. Okay. Now, in this point, if it is not visible to you, bacho, you can see two pairs of lines, then one alone. Okay, two pairs of lines and one alone. Again, two pairs of line, one alone is shifted to that side. Two pairs of line, one alone is shifted here. Two pairs of line, but here these two. Let me show it properly to you. The main point is these two; they are not aligned properly. In option four, the twos are not aligned. We want two aligned properly, two properly aligned arrows, and one separate one. So in fourth one, it is not aligned properly. So I will say fourth one is the odd one. So. <coughs> Fourth one will be the odd one. These questions are quite easy. Dress is related to body, so you the body uh, wears the dress, right? So same way bangles. So where where does the women wears bangles on the wrist? As simple as that. Got it? And these are NTSC questions, but I'm telling you. So these are quite easy. Choose the odd one out: rabbit, rat, mongoose, squirrel, and cat. <coughs> Now <coughs> here. 
rabbit rat mongoose squirrel and cat so one thing is <coughs> cat will be the odd one because except cat all are comes under the category of rodents so a bit knowledge of biology is required so all are rodents or rat family cat is coming under the like cat is a different family cat lion that cat family is different right so you can say ki cat is a different part here so cat is the odd one out here now corn wheat cotton jowar and millet now here it's quite easy <coughs> corn wheat jowar and millet they all are edible things they are corn right <coughs> so they are food product but only cotton is the one which is not a food product okay this is can be you this is a raw material which is used to make clothes so i can say c is the odd one out now here if you will see which one what should come come at the question mark so you will see a triangle and then half part of it blackened so here if it is a circle which part will be blackened that side should be blackened so i will say option e is the correct answer so you can see bachcho the questions are quite easy quite easy as would you as you would have thought okay so these questions always attempt it don't leave them okay do make sure you solve these kind of questions this is your homework question okay you have to tell me out of these given set of number which one is an odd one which one is the odd one so those who will be giving me correct answer i'll place their name in the next session okay bachcho so this is all from my side today do download vedantu's app this which we uh, which where we are providing you free doubt solving facility free study material and also schedule of the master classes also like share and subscribe to this channel bachcho like this video if you have learned if you have learned this video like this video do press the bell icon so that every update on this channel you will be notified about it also any doubts you are having you can reach out to me at gopal.palewal@vedantu.com okay bachcho so this is all from my side in today's class i know the class was quite short but the topic is too easy right so i'll see you soon in the next class till then bachcho Bye bye good night i'll see you soon bye bye